Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce to you Sam. Thank you. I was going to tell you about takeout shorts, and what I like to call cool but not hip shorts. Yeah. It's a important distinction. You never get it. Hey everybody, I'm Sammy. Um, I just graduated from UVM a couple months ago, and I'm here to tell you a little bit, a little bit about my business, Takeout Shorts. Um, I'm pretty excited for the opportunity to talk about it because it's what I'm talking about normally anyway. So. Um, these right here are Takeout Shorts. They are cute little unisex outdoorsy short shorts. They come in a bunch of fun different colors. Um, they're really good for stuff like skateboarding, swimming, running, climbing. To this date, I've uh, accrued about 4,000 followers on my Instagram page and done about 13 grand in revenue since I started selling in April. Um, so, how I started. I have a really weird body type, as you can see. It's really long and lanky. Um, so like a year and a half ago, I had my sister send me her old sewing machine, machine so I could start tailoring my clothes. I taught myself how to sew, that was going really well. So my roommates and I started making clothes from scratch. You can see this crazy yellow pair of pants here. Um, the second thing I made from scratch was actually this pair of shorts right here. And they're really shitty. Excuse my French. Um, they, uh, they're made out of like picnic table material. Um, they don't even have pockets, um, and they're like about to fall apart, as you can see. So, um, even though they don't function well, I thought they looked really good. So I posted a photo of them on Instagram, and immediately a bunch of my friends started messaging me, and they're like, "Yo, let me let me get a pair, make me a pair, make me a pair." So I was like, okay, I kind of got the gears turning. I was like, "There's probably a business idea in here somewhere." So. Um, I started researching just how to make a good pair of shorts. I did a lot of research into different fabrics, and I started pulling a pair, pulling apart the shorts that I had to see how they're put together. And I really wanted to make a pair of shorts that would fit guys and girls really well. Um, it would take me like four hours to make a pair of shorts, though. And at the time, I was really busy. I was doing school full time. I was the president of the cycling team at UVM, um, and I like doing other stuff too, like drinking beer. So <laughs> each pair of shorts I would make, as soon as they came off the sewing machine, I would make like three different friends wear them, and I would take photos of all of them. I wanted to get like the most promotional mileage out of each pair, because I didn't have a lot. Um, and then that promotion started working. I was posting stuff up on Instagram and gaining a pretty big following on that page. Eventually, I was keeping a list of folks who had asked me to make them a pair of shorts. Last summer, I hit like 100 people. I was like, okay, there's no way you're gonna make 100 pairs of shorts. So the logical next step is looking for a manufacturer. Finding a clothing manufacturer is a lot easier said than done. I had to figure out how to make like garment blueprints that are called tech packs. I had to work around language barriers and one interesting thing about the apparel industry is clothing companies are really guarded about their manufacturing contacts. If they have a good manufacturer, they're not gonna tell you about them because that's gonna give you a competitive advantage. But regardless, I was able to find a bunch of different companies that were willing to send me samples of my own designs. And I found a really good partner, really good at communication, makes really good tough shorts. Um, and I put in a big order with them. So all the while, I was still promoting on Instagram, and because, again, I didn't have a lot of pairs of shorts, I had to get a little, uh, a little creative with the content. I don't know if you guys can read this, but I, I drew a pair of my shorts on Obama, and the quote says, take out shorts, make my ass look good, Barack Obama. Um, in April, I released my first drop of shorts. I released 100 pairs, and they sold out in about 24 hours, which is awesome. Here's a photo of me doing some local deliveries on my bike. Um, in June, I did my second release of 100 pairs, so it sold out in just an hour, which was even better. Um, so demand is a lot higher than supply, which is a place I really want to keep it. Um, some recent developments, I've been able to put my shorts in some really cool and influential hands. This is my buddy Connor, who performs at a local restaurant called 99 Neighbors. This is a photo of 
him performing in my shorts at Lollapalooza in Chicago a couple weeks ago. It's awesome. I also recently partnered with UVM Trek, and they run like a, a week-long program for incoming UVM freshmen. They just ordered 94 pairs of my shorts for all their leaders. Um, and then this photo of my friend Gretel here, modeling KCAP 2.0, is the new release I've been working on. Um, the same as my old shorts, but better. Better fabric, better technical qualities, and better design. And that's about where I am. I'm projecting about 23 grand in revenue by the end of 2019. So I'm hoping to quit my job soon. I think that's about it. Any questions?